Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. And you know what that means. It means Liz and Mike from 105 on the buzz are here right now. Good morning, you two. Happy Friday. Morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yes, so some, some Disneyland goers aren't very happy with the Kardashian clan. Why don't you break it down for us? Yeah, they managed to make it the unhappiest place on earth <laughs> instead oh. of the happiest. Shocking. Uh, but so Kim and Chloe and a couple of the kids, they ended up going to Disneyland for uh, Chloe's daughter's birthday. And people got really upset. And there's all these videos circulating on TikTok now because every single time that the Kardashians wanted to ride a ride, they basically just shut the line down. Even if you had a fast pass or whatever, let the Kardashians go in front of you and then ride it just them and then their bodyguards. And then they would get off and go to the next ride, which you can argue the safety issues or whatever, but there's some hilarious video of them on the teacups where basically two of the teacups are filled and the rest of them are just empty. And you just see a line of people waiting to get on there. <laughs> oh my and so God. people were really upset because like if you pay regular price for a ticket, you know, you've got your fast pass. If you miss it, then you're trying to get to your next one. It can it can ruin the whole schedule. And they were super upset because why should the Kardashians get to jump ahead? Right, like, you're just it's a, a, you're publicly showing like this elitist attitude. Uh, it's, yeah. it's that rubs everybody the wrong way. No, and I mean Disneyland for a lot of people is a big deal. They save up a long time to take their kids to Disneyland totally, totally. and ride the rides. And I remember seeing pictures of Cardi B and her kid in the teacups, and they had one other teacup with a bodyguard, just like giving them the eye. But the rest just had normal folk in it, and it wasn't a big deal. Cardi nice. B, see? Cardi B's a woman of the people. I mean, well, I think I understand it where part of it is a safety issue. Like, I understand that people will probably want to take pictures and video and they don't want you standing up on the ride. But, I mean, at least throw the people that are waiting in line a free churro. Do yeah, something. <laughs> there you like, go. Hey, I love I that. I acknowledge you. Yeah, some free Mickey Mouse ears or something. Yeah, and you, you know they were filming for the TV show. And correct me if I'm wrong, but that show is based on reality. So if the Kardashians want to experience reality, put them at the end of the line and make them wait two hours to get on the teacup. Totally. Yeah, you want, a, you want, a, you want a, a reality check. It takes two hours to get on the Indiana Jones ride. Sorry about that. It takes yeah. forever. Mm -mm. Like, can you imagine going to a theme park and being able to just ride all of the rides that you want to and not having to, like, think, okay, well, I'm going to be in an hour and a half line here, probably two hours here. Like, how much more magical that must be to be like, I'm going to hit all of the rides. Yeah, it was the happiest place on earth for the Kardashian family, I guess. Not for everybody I've, else. I've actually experienced that before. I used to host a summer concert series back home at my local amusement park back there, and they would usher me around to get on the front of the rides. I felt bad about it, but I also really enjoyed it. So. <laughs> <laughs> not, bad, I mean, not bad enough about it. Not yeah. bad no. enough about it. <laughs> How elitist of you, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Uh, well, uh, speaking of some elites, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle finally reuniting with the Queen. It's been about two years. How come now? Awkward. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Harry, Prince Harry did go and see part of the royal family when his grandfather passed. But this is the first time that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry together have gone back and seen the royal family. They were on their way to the Invictus Games. Not mm. really sure what that is, but they ended up stopping off to see the Queen of England and then his father, Prince Charles. They left the kids in America, and then this coming week is actually Queen Elizabeth's 96th birthday. So basically to just say happy birthday and then go on their way. But I can, I, I wish that I could have been a fly on the wall because what happened? What happened when they were in that room? Because this is the first time that they've seen each other all in person since that infamous Oprah interview happened, where they spilled all the royalty on everybody. Mm. Like, could you imagine being Queen Elizabeth and just staring them down? Like, oh, hello. <laughs> hmm. Were you Do you intimidate? Or were you, Do you say silenced? Something? Oh. Yeah. It's just the most iconic line in an interview ever. That's why I said you know, awkward. <laughs> yeah, coming from a large, angry Italian family, I've experienced this a lot, mostly at funerals and weddings. But when we all get together, we always see those family members we haven't talked to in years and realize there's a good reason why. <laughs> but then we just take a sip of our drink, roll some side eye their way. I think the most fascinating part about this whole conversation is the fact that the queen is only 96 years old. I feel like she's been in her 90s for 25 years. I feel the same way, actually. It's like, it's like when you have those <laughs> basketball players who are and somehow they're they're like uh, only as they're a senior, but you're like you've been a senior for the last eight years. How are you still playing college basketball? You were it's crazy. six foot eight in seventh grade. I don't believe you. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. 
Oh, that's wild. Well, always appreciate it, guys. Have a great weekend and happy Easter. Liz, have you have you you got to hide the eggs for 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 baby boy? Yeah, I know. The bunny's going to drop them off later this weekend okay. so that we can do the hunt. So I'm very excited. We'll need yeah. an Easter egg hunt update on Monday. Yep. For sure. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. We'll see you later. Have a great weekend. Take Bye, care. Friends. All right. You can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz. Now,